uh, Shan, talk to me about, about this element of the prosecutors. Am I right to say, obviously, prosecutors change their minds. They charged and now they have reviewed more evidence and they're, and they're dropping charges. But that doesn't necessarily mean that the police department has changed its mind and what they turned up in their investigation. This kind of, do you, do you think that you could see, you're seeing that what we could be seeing right now is a clash of those two thoughts? Uh, that's certainly possible. Uh, there have been many times when, as a prosecutor, I reviewed evidence given to me by law enforcement and I disagreed with them on whether it was appropriate to charge or not. And sometimes there's you know, a fair amount of hostile tension that can grow there. In this case, however, I find it hard to believe they're not going to try to get on the same page because there's just so much at stake here. I mean, there, there certainly seems to be something up in the background. This reliance upon his community service makes no sense if you're talking about guilt or innocence. And, uh, you know, I agree with Joey to an extent that they could be concerned about trying to ramp this down, but I would say they've gone so far out on the limb that if they had credible evidence of his guilt, it would have been more logical to give him something like a very small misdemeanor probation community service rather than outright dismiss the charges they can't do like some non-disclosure agreement with him he's going to be free to speak after this and this is a huge egg on their face and i do think they could face civil liability as well